Good morning, everyone. I know it's super early here in Manila. It's not even 7 a.m. as you can see, but wake up because we are going to Miss Universe. Ah! <laughs> Guys, I'm freaking out right now because for the very first time, I'm going to be attending Miss Universe in person. And it's gonna be a crazy ride because I'm going there all by myself with a press pass for two weeks, basically. So I'm flying all the way from Manila to San Salvador. It's going to be a 28 hour flight with two layovers in the US. And I'm feeling some type of way because I like adventure, but this is a little bit outside of my comfort zone. But I still think it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Um, basically, I was granted a press pass by the Miss Universe organization, and now I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna try to make the most out of the experience, make a bunch of content for you guys. Um, as you can see, I'm bringing two big luggages, which I don't know if I'm like being too much. Maybe do I think I'm one of the contestants or something along those lines? I don't know. But anyways, uh, we'll try to make the most out of it. I wanted to make sure that I'm not missing anything because I'm going there literally all by myself. But yeah, during this vlog, I'm just gonna be taking you with me along the journey so that I'm, you know, I don't feel so alone traveling. Guys, go ahead and subscribe right now. Right now, no excuses. Like this video, drop a comment. I'm literally going to El Salvador for y'all. I mean, also for me. I'm not gonna be playing like, <laughs> it's not my games around here. I'm also going for myself, but come on, drop a like, support your boy. I have to go down because my driver is here. I'm going to the airport and I will update you later. Okay, right now. And here we go officially on my way to the airport. As you can see, I'm a little tired because for the past few weeks I have been traveling non-stop from Montreal to Manila, Manila, Japan, Japan, Manila, now Manila, El Salvador. It's a lot. I mean, I'm very grateful. I'm very blessed. I'm not complaining, but my, it's taking a toll on my body basically. Right before I took my flight, I also needed to grab some breakfast because I didn't have time to eat. So I had some coffee with Filipino breakfast. This is some long sea log. And I also took a time to make some content for my TikTok, Instagram and Facebook while I was on the taxi. But enough of posting and talking. Let's just go ahead and eat. This was so delicious and the perfect breakfast since I won't be in the Philippines for two weeks, so I'm gonna miss it. All right, everyone, so I made it past uh, immigration. That was probably the easiest immigration journey that I ever had, not just in Manila, but like anywhere in the world. Actually, I think I just got lucky because basically I got into the airport um, right away when I went to the United Gate, which is the airline that I'm using to travel to El Salvador. Uh, I don't know why they took me to the first class line, which I am not, I'm economy, but they made me go through a um, first class, took my luggage right away. So it, within five minutes of entering the airport, my luggage was checked in. I had my boarding pass. Then I went to immigration. They had the biggest, biggest line um, to go through immigration, but they opened a brand new line and they cut the line right in front of me. So I was like the second person on the line literally the guy didn't even ask me a question and just went through so here i am i actually just filmed a video right here where you see me oh my god good morning ladies this and girl gentlemen, and welcome to flight to san francisco i also managed to get some filipino breakfast before i leave the country because i'm gonna miss it so much this is one of the things that i really got used to here in the philippines um i mean i don't eat it as much because i'm a lot out of the time I'm on a diet and I'm fasting but when I can I love me some Filipino breakfast so today it was very early morning I needed uh, my dose of coffee and everything so I made sure that I got some uh, long sea log right before I leave the country because I won't have any of that for the next at least uh, two weeks so I have to do the most out of it and the very last update is right here where you see me I just filmed actually a brand new video for you guys about the oh but anyways, the last update right here where you see me in the middle of the airport surrounded by people. I filmed a video about my uh, Dark Horses predictions for Miss Universe pre-arrival. I mean, pre-my arrival in El Salvador. So stay tuned for that on the channel. Maybe it will be out before this vlog is out. Um, so yeah, I accomplished everything that I needed to do here in Manila. So I'm just going to chill, edit for a bit some content and just wait for my flight, which is right there right behind me so in a few hours i will be boarding right here 
airline. So to keep this interesting, I'm not gonna give you all the details about the travel. Of course, it's basically just me going through the airport, but it was a 28 hour trip going from Manila to San Francisco, San Francisco to Washington, and Washington to San Salvador. It was a little bit stressful because I did not have a lot of time between you know, flights, so I had to make sure that I was at the right gate at the right time, that I was not gonna lose my flight, and if I lose it, then I'm pretty much like stranded in the US. So it was a little bit nerve wracking, but thanks God, everything went smoothly. Here I am just getting off the plane. I am officially in El Salvador. So excited. This is like a dream come true because I never thought that I would be here in El Salvador or that I would get to attend Miss Universe at such a young age. Can you imagine? I just started covering pageant like three years ago and here I am like collaborating with Miss Universe. This is crazy. Here we are, El Salvador. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome officially to El Salvador! <laughs> I arrived last night here at the University of El Salvador. This is where uh, I'm gonna be staying, this is where most people from the media are gonna be staying because this is a place that is provided by the government of El Salvador for us, for free. We don't have to pay anything to be here, we just have to be accredited media of Miss Universe. I'm going to say first thing, this is the very first time that this happens to me. I've never been to a pageant where I've been provided free accommodation. So thank you, Miss Universe, for going the extra mile. Uh, maybe I'm going to show you guys a little bit around what it looks like. Honestly, like this exceeded my expectation so, 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 so much. Um, I was expecting a bed to sleep and maybe like a toilet or something. But this is what the room looks like. First thing first, they just brought me breakfast to the room. Like <laughs> they provided breakfast for all of us. I think that at the moment there's only two journalists. Uh, this is also breakfast. I don't know what's in here. Honestly, like I don't even know. Like, wow, we have some fruit. Okay, let me show you. Some fresh fruit. And what else? Just put this here on the side. And oh my god! Oh my god! This is so good. This is so good. Thank you so much, Miss Universe. I mean, Miss Universe is number one for a reason, right? Anyways, um. Let's do like a little room tour, okay? So I can show you guys what, uh, how Miss Universe treats the journalists or the accredited media, at least here in the budget. So we have a little bit of um, a closet situation going on. Keep in mind, this is, um, normally speaking, a university. I don't know if these are residences or for guests, but this is where we will be staying. My luggage is still on the floor because I just arrived last night super, super late. And this is my bed. Um, so yeah super comfortable i'll give you that they also gave us some water we have this little like um night tables to put our stuff another bed for other guests because i think that we are supposed to be two per room however so far i'm alone because most of the journalists have not arrived i am technically supposed to have a roommate that i know which is my co-candidate from supernational uh, Giuliano, who represented Argentina, so you guys might recognize him if you followed me on Supra. Um, okay, now I'll show you maybe this area where it's like the... Okay, so this is the room, right? I just saw you the beds. Have some more luggage right here. Uh, they even give us towels. Can you believe? Guys, this is a university. I was not expecting towels. This is not a hotel, but they're going above and beyond. AC, and then we go in this area, and you have like a little... Uh, place to you know like brush your teeth do your face get ready look good um, this area right here you have a toilet and I love that is separated from the shower which is on this side um, I took a shower last night as soon as I came in because it was a 28 hour trip so yeah not sure how you call this I think this is a rain shower is the proper name for it and there's a little space here for you to hang your clothes and whatnot whenever you want it to dry up. I mean, as I said, for a university, this is way beyond what I expected. Thank you so much to Miss Universe. Thank you so much to 
the government of El Salvador as well. They even left us, you know, official notes. So, so far, my first impression has been crazy. I love this so, 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 so much. So yeah, I'm just gonna get my day started. Gonna have my breakfast, gonna take my shower, get ready. And then we have provided transportation as well to go meet the girls. So I'll keep you updated, guys. Thank you for watching. All right, you guys, so I made it officially to the hotel where all of the girls for Miss Universe are staying. I'm gonna tour you around, but before, let me introduce you to a few people over here. First of all, <laughs> I'm KJ. KJ. We met uh, in Japan at yes. Miss International, and now we're besties. Yes. If you follow me on IG, you know, you know. You know. And of course, <laughs> Amisa! The one and only. The one and only. From Finland, of course. From Finland. The girl, the boss girl the in boss charge girl. of. Joyce Lee. app. So all and of the votes that you're sending to Miss Universe in all your countries when you support and you're like scrolling for updates. I take care of you. She's Love the you one. All. <laughs> <laughs> and of course we have some pageant folks here as well. Say hello, Adam. Hello. Mabuha. Hello. You're watching the right channel. I mean Luisa's channel right now. So I'm happy to be reunited with him after leaving him last year. Inception. Yes. All right, and here are my friends. Hello. Hello, Hello universe. <laughs> Hello, the universe. Hello, universe. Hi. Go ahead, you guys. Introduce yourself. Who are you? What do you do? What should the fans know? Boogie Rivera, fashion designer. Ah. I'm based in New York, but and I'm Filipino. Who are you designing for? Mauritius. Mauritius. What can we expect from Mauritius? Ah, 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 ah. It's just like just suit, suitable for her. Yes. That's all I can say. Okay. We're excited. How generic the term. We're excited. <laughs> can you be more deep, more specific about Yes. Not, not Give us a little exclusive. Maybe. Yes. I'll tell you the inspiration. Okay, go. Inspiration is the island of Mauritius. Oh! Grab <laughs> <laughs> it. Grab it for this It's game. going to be Mauritius and delicious. <laughs> wow. Mauritius. <laughs> so anyways you guys just that was a quick update um, but of course I'm trying to see if I'll get to meet some of the girls maybe go to some of the activities it's unclear because I don't have my press badge just yet I'm not one of the cool kids just yet <laughs> <laughs> fine okay Miss Universe <laughs> all right see you later I've been here at the venue where the girls are staying at the hotel basically for approximately like an hour and we got to see so many people already. I posted, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so Arboni just made it here and I'm, I'm like... I'm in love with this outfit, good god. It's, I have a crush moment, girl crush. The outfit is absolutely <laughs> everything. I'll put some footage over here so you guys can see the full look. <laughs> But she just arrived at the hotel and made some promos uh, for the venue, for the hotel per se. Is this the first time that Arboni has arrived here? Yes. Okay, right. so she just like yeah. pretty yeah. much like arrived at the hotel. Uh, I also got to uh, film a quick reel with Miss Lebanon, which so many of you have been requesting. Uh, and I got to see a bunch of the girls just coming out of a, probably a, I'm guessing like a meeting because they were coming all together. So yeah, even up until now, just gonna show you some of the girls are still here. <laughs> Look at this photo. What? Mm. Fun girling. Arboni, oh my god. Arboni is like everything. Everything. And the outfit. Oh my god. It's like so, uh, Arboni, you can you can call me to deliver call me. <laughs> Just call on me and I'll be there. Just give me your outfit. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> stay tuned for everything, guys. Follow me on Instagram because, you know, YouTube takes time to edit. To so, if you want like live updates of everything, go on my Instagram page and Facebook page and TikTok page. And Miss Universe app. Miss Universe app. Go powered by Choicely. Choicely. <laughs> That's the plug. They're literally Choicely team, guys. Choicely. <laughs> Just posting about the uh, uh. about the. God, the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, deuces. <laughs>